Well, howdy, 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 everybody. Teresa here. Yes, shocked, aren't you? Yes, I actually did makeup. As you can tell, I do very light makeup. Um, uh, before we get into this, anybody asks, um, which I don't think anybody will, but um, I uh, use primarily uh, bare minerals or mineral type makeup, especially the foundation and the powder and, and stuff. Um, you know, I'll use regular, you know, powdered eyeshadow from, uh, you know, other places, but, uh, you know, um, and I go really light because I'm not trying to cover my freckles because there's no way I could ever cover all my freckles. And if you saw me in person, I'm very, very light skinned, um, and I have a lot of freckles. Um, and, um, but I thought, kind of silly because I do enjoy wearing makeup and even though if I'm at home and nobody but my husband sees me why don't I throw on a little bit of makeup every once in a while I enjoy it um you know and um there's no reason not to so I threw my contacts in today and uh threw a little bit of makeup on and uh, my hair is kind of doing his own thing. I didn't curl my hair or anything. I don't normally blow dry my hair or curl my hair or anything. I don't know. Um, I mean, I used to, but I just don't anymore. Um, uh, so, you know, once in a while I'll curl my hair a little bit, but I didn't do anything with it this morning. Hence, I'm trying to decide whether I'm growing, I need to grow my bangs out or not, so. That's why it's at the in-between stage where part of it falls down. Um, let's see. It is February 3rd, 2016, Wednesday morning, almost afternoon. It's 11.48 p.m. now. Um, it is 11 degrees out, but real field temperature is 5 below. It's 22. Uh, it high will be 22 and low will be 11. Um, yesterday... We just did kind of a lazy snow day. Uh, we took naps and then we just kind of fiddle farted around, chit chatting and stuff. Um, and um, we did a little bit, bit more listing on, on eBay, not just a couple of items. Um, and uh, then I got to talk to my. Uh, uh, best friend Dina, Mosquito Valley, uh, for a couple of hours. We were hooting, hollering, having such a great time. You know, it's somebody that, you know, once in a while you'll meet somebody that you just connect with so well. And, I mean, we, we say that we are, um, oh, I thought I saw a black dot. Uh, we are, uh, sisters from another mother because we just have so much in common and we think a lot alike and just, I, um, I am not one to talk on the phone. Um, and so to get me to open up and to get me to talk on the phone is you've got, I've got to really have a connection with you. Um, and uh, we definitely have that. So, um, you know, I feel very blessed that she's come into my life because having somebody, um, that you have a good friendship with means the world. Basically, when you're when you feel kind of closed off from the from the world, like I do here. <coughs> Excuse me. So it really means a lot. Really made my day, made my week. Um, you know. And then after I got off phone with her, we had uh, dinner. We had homemade chili, was really good. Um, Brad seasoned it just perfectly. It wasn't too hot wasn't too spicy, you know, it was just spot on, um, and then I did some looming, I did finish up that hat, it's right here, it has an organza flower I put on it, and, um, you know, so, and this is the hot neon pink, with a pom-pom, so if you're interested, it is for sale, if you're interested, Message me or comment and friend me on Facebook. Get a hold of me there. Um, I'm going to take a break from making hats for a while because um, 
I want to finish up that shawl. Because, see, I'm actually making that into a poncho. I think I'm going to end uh, how long it's getting here soon. And, because, yeah, I have to go, however long it is right now, is going to be twice as long because now I've got to start decreasing. Decreasing, to, excuse me, I've got to hiccup to make that triangle. Well, and then after that, I'm going to make another panel identical. I'm going to sew the two of them together, leaving, you know, in the middle, a big enough uh, space for my head so I can slip it over. Because it's going to be like a very lacy, lightweight poncho. The reason is, and we ladies of size understand that, okay, number one, um, you know, we all put on weight in different body area, body places. Uh, areas of our body differently. Well, I am to put it on all over pretty evenly. Rolls I everybody roll your eyes now. So, including my arms. So I really feel like I have really big arms, and I do. And, and I'll find out to show you guys. See, I have very big arms. Um, and um, so I have a hard time getting shirts that really fit my arms. So that's why I end up either cutting off the sleeve and and tucking that under and hemming it so it's a sleeveless shirt or taking the sleeves off and making new sleeves and, and reattaching. Then they make the neck holes on the shirt just so big that it's just ridiculous. So you've got, you know, the huge neck hole and your bra straps are showing and... A lot of times I'll wear a tank top underneath, um, you know, a wide strapped one so it covers my bra strap, um, you know, so I don't get overly hot, you know, or I've even taken like lace and, and made that neck hole somewhat smaller, you know, you lay some lace in there, but moving to a, a warmer climate, I want to be able to sometimes wear sleeveless shirt. Now, I don't wear sleeveless shirts out of the house. I'm too self-conscious. Well, I know I'm going to want to. Well, if I have this very lacy, elegant looking shawl or poncho, you know, and if I want to wear the shawl, I have to fold it in half and then it's a shawl again. Um, I'd be able to just slip that on. It doesn't matter if that neck hole is so big because you're not going to see my bra straps really. You're not going to see my arms. Really, because, you know, that will cover it. So, that's why I'm making it. Hopefully, it turns out, um, you know. Uh, uh, but I'm going to take a break from making hats because I want to finish that. I don't like having something sit on a loom for a real long time. And it's been sitting on the loom now for a few months while I've been been with my obsession with the hats. So, I'm, going, I'm not starting another hat. Until I finish that. Um, so, uh, you know, probably at least a good week or so. Um, so, I'm going to do that. I need a clean house day. I need to dust vacuum. Clean the bathroom. Sweep and mop. Clean up the kitchen some. Um, I'm not sure if Brad check came in today or not. Uh, hopefully. Uh, he called yesterday and he mailed it on the 26th. You know, the mail is just... I know the weather's got a lot to do with it, but also it's really been moving slow after Christmas. Um, and I know it, all, mailmen all do their, their very best job. I think they've had major cutbacks. I don't know. Um, so if he had his check come in, then we'll need to go to uh, Walmart, get a few things. Not very much. Um, and um, uh, pay a few bills. Um, I've been being really good. I have not bought any more candle stuff, not even the wax melt I use all the time. I've been mean, using up what I have, so, um, yeah, I've been really good about that. I haven't been, um, spending money on really anything we don't need. Um, I've been going to the Dollar Tree hardly at all, and, and even when I do, it's usually just for what we need. Um, uh, of course, I haven't I haven't been buying any more yarn because, you know, I can't really afford that. So, 
That's you know, but I have really great friends like Deet and 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 Dina and stuff that send me yarn, and I just you know, and that's just the biggest, biggest wonderful surprise when somebody you know like what kind of yarn, what kind of yarn, you know, um, uh, you know, because I seriously do. I think you guys think I'm joking, but yeah, I even have boxes and boxes, you know, of the. Um, uh, embroidery floss, you know, and I have them all carded and numbered and stuff. Well, if I'm having a real kind of down day and stuff, I'll even flip open the boxes and just look at all the array of colors. Or I'll go in where I have my yarn stash and I'll just go look at the beautiful array and, of colors and the different textures and and thicknesses and, and uh, variegated ones and stuff. And it makes me happy. Color makes me happy. No wonder... I'm an artist, but color makes me very happy, um, you know, so that's, uh, you know, one, one way I, I cope with the long winter here, um, having good friends to talk to, that helps, um, and um, like I said, just sitting out and even looking, um, like, you know, to pine trees with all the snow on them, and you know, birds and uh, the rabbits running in the snow. Because the snow is pure white right now in our backyard. Um, dogs have not been going out more than just a couple of feet. So I have all this snow in my backyard. It's not even got any footprints on it. It's, it's pretty amazing. Um, one thing I want, want to kind of talk about and encourage is is all of us ladies not to be afraid to show ourselves. I know we all kind of just show this, you know, our faith. And a lot of times we're afraid to to show our body more. more. And I'm working a little bit more on that. If you've seen some recent videos, like you actually saw me get up and let a dog in. Now that was hard for me to let you guys see. Showing you guys my arm just now. That was hard for me to do. But if we all do that, then we overcome. And we know that we don't have to be perfect. And we can we can be whatever size and whatever shape we are. And that's just life. Because I know for me, I have always kind of, and I was taught this growing up, that if you didn't look perfect, you should hide in your house. If you weren't the perfect weight and stuff, you should hide in your house. And it's really sad because, you know, we shouldn't all have to hide in our house no matter what what size we are. Whether we are, you know, 100 pounds or we are 1,000 pounds, we shouldn't have to hide in our house. We shouldn't have to stop doing everything we can do, even if we are, we are hobbling around, even if we are having trouble doing different things we shouldn't be ashamed to be ourselves because if you had a child that would had the same problem physically that we have now we would tell them to be themselves and if somebody is really their friend they will understand but yet when we get older then we hide in the house because we can't walk normally or, you know, we might have to sit down and, and, you know, and, and not be able to walk the whole distance. We need to make allowances and accommodations for ourselves as we get older, just like we would if we had a child with a disability. That's the way I feel. I'm working hard, and I've learned a lot. I learn a lot from my friends, and, like, like I said, I really look up to Mosquito Valley and um, how she, you know, still goes into town. She still goes to lunch, still goes shopping. She, you know, uh, she does what she can do, um, you know, on the days that she feels well enough to. And it's like, you know, and I mean, the lady is still a lady and she still does her hair and her makeup and stuff. And I really have learned a lot. From that, it's like, you know, I do need to just, you know, go ahead and take care of myself. I do need to go ahead and, you know, go shopping and not hide in my house and not be afraid that somebody's going to make fun of me 
my husband has made me in the past because I have such bad social anxiety. It makes me go out of the house. It's getting better, like I said, just having friends to talk to and stuff. And, and um, you know, but, um, yeah, he had made me go out of the house quite a few times and stuff. Um, you know, one of the things that I found that helps me is if I feel like somebody is staring at me, I just stop what I'm doing and stare back. And it's funny how they know just kind of look away. And it's like, if you got a problem with, with me, that's your problem. It's not my problem. It's not my problem that you don't like how I look. That's your problem. You know, who said I like how that person looks? But you don't see me, you know. I mean, you know, different people have all these different piercings and tattoos and body modifications and stuff. And we are supposed to accept them and do for who they are and their right to express. But we also have that right to just be us. And to we have the same rights as everybody else to enjoy things. I do think that they should have seating for, you know, us plus-size people because... You know, the obesity epidemic is becoming worse and worse, so why not have some seating that, that accommodates? Um, you know, industry is really messing out because if they had seating that accommodated more people of size and stuff, we wouldn't all be in our house doing so much. And so we would spend more money, you know, at restaurants and stores and concerts and, and etc. Just my opinion. So, I just want all my friends to know that I love you and I accept you, whatever you look like. Don't be ashamed. Don't be ashamed to show what you look like with makeup, without makeup, you know, if your hair is done, if your hair is not done, you know, whatever. Because I just enjoy who you are as a person, you know, and don't be ashamed. You know, let's not keep shaming ourselves because that's what we've been taught by society. You know, I started dieting. My first diet I was put on when I was 10 months old by a doctor, and I've dieted all my life up to this size. I was bulimic starting in high school until uh, about the year 2001. The last time I, I, and I was, I used laxatives. And that's what they think part of my problem is with the IBS is that I've messed up my system so much. Um, uh, and all the dieting and stuff. The doctor thinks all the dieting and stuff has really messed up my stomach. Um, and then the abuse of laxatives and stuff. Um, you know. Nobody ever thinks that somebody who is of size ever had um, an eating problem on the other side of the spectrum. And, oh, yeah, it goes hand in hand. You know, and a lot of times how we handle not doing the anorexia or the bulimia is we just kind of just let ourselves, you know, eat whatever. Because, you know, we don't. You know, to me, I have to be very careful. If I'm on a real strict diet, it feels like then I start thinking that I should do the bulimia again. I won't because it would probably kill me. Um, but, you know, that just comes back, you know, because you get so hungry. With me, I get so hungry on a real strict diet. So then my mind says, well, you can go ahead and eat that and get rid of it. I'm just being very brutally honest here. Um, you know. You know, and we need to quit teaching our sons and daughters, especially our daughters, but more boys now, day two, that they aren't just wonderful the way they are. That maybe we all need to eat better. I need to work on my biggest problem is eating too many carbs late at night. Um, so what I'm going to do today is sit down 
and um, think of different vegetables that I could have like ready on a, a tray or in a bowl for at night for snacking. So I could just go in there and grab out of the fridge and grab a bowl of uh, vegetables to snack on. And um, to have fruit too around to do the same. You know, you have to be careful with the fruit because of the sugar content. But since we're probably going to the store tonight, I'm going to do that so I can have that ready. And I'm also going to make some sugar-free jello to have sitting in the fridge because that's my biggest problem is the carbs at night. You know, um, you know, and last time we, we went to the store, you know, and this is, okay, this is just <clears throat> being brutally honest again. I don't know any other way to be. When you haven't really had any money to buy extra stuff and or to even really grocery shop, you know, you've just been eating out of your pantry. Um, then you have a tendency, and if you go grocery shopping when you're hungry, you have a tendency to buy things you know you shouldn't, like glazed donuts and reduced fat Oreos. And, okay, you even tried to justify that they were marked down and you had a coupon. But still, you did not need those. Um, it drove my 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 uh, blood glucose up. And I think that was a little bit of what contributed to the weight gain. Uh, yeah, and I was very bloated. Um, you know, but I'm still trying to drop a few pounds just very slowly. And my biggest thing, though, is, is with the diabetes, is that I need to really watch the carbs and the sugar. Um, because I'm having more neuropathy at night in my feet uh, that keep me up because of, of, of the, the burning and the pins and needles and the sensation in my feet. Um I got to watch those carbs, and that's my biggest problem. I am really great all day long, and then at night. So that's what I'm going to work on is um, is the, um, I do like hummus, and having some fresh vegetables and some hummus, you know, and just uh, eating on that instead, instead of eating crackers and popcorn and stuff like that at night. <coughs> but we're never going to give up, ladies. Never going to get up. Keep moving. Keep doing the best you can. But don't beat yourself up when you when you don't. Um, treat yourself nice. You know, get dressed. I, I make myself get dressed every day no matter what. You know, if I, you know, even when I don't do my hair and makeup, I always get dressed first thing. Um, and we just never give up. We keep smiling, keep smiling, keep smiling. You know, and let's talk to each other because that really helps. And I learned so much from my friends. So this is long in the tooth, and I want you guys to know that I love you and I cherish your friendship, and I think you're all awesome. And I'm going to talk to you tomorrow. Bye.